What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. I am JB. Today we're going to have a look at Quant, what's going on in the charts, what's likely to happen next. Is there anything interesting? I do think there is a few things going on. Of course, today is going to be one hell of a volatile day, I do expect. We do have the Fed interest rates a little later on today, so I do expect some market volatility. That's obviously a given, considering what is going on. If you're enjoying the videos, you're enjoying today's video, do smash up that like button, subscribe, tap on the bell, all the usual good stuff, guys. When you do that, it really does help feed that YouTube algorithm. It helps get the content out to as many like-minded people in the space as possible. And of course, it helps the channel out greatly. When you do so, we very much do appreciate when you do that for us. Now, enough pandering to you guys. Let's get straight on into this one. And we can take a look at Quant paired up with USDT. BitGet being the data source for this one hour chart. Now we said about volatility, Quant usually responds quite well with volatility, let's be honest here. So we can see previously where we're looking at the move down here within this C wave, the target area being between $104.32 to as low as $102.70. And what we can see here on Sunday, around about 2, 2 a.m. UTC, we did see the price drop down to $103.15. From here, we obviously bounced on to the upside where we can well, quite frankly, see another pullback for the price action. So a couple of interesting things I would like to go over here before we do advance. We now have a bearish change of character on the one hour chart for Quant. Telling a few stories here. We have a strong high and of course, a strong high means we have a weak low on the charts via smart money concept. Overall, this is telling us that we expect the price to go down. I personally expect the prices to continue dropping to the downside. A few other key things we have to note. We are now completely trading below the 50 EMA in green, the 50 SMA in red, and currently we are testing out this 200 EMA in white, and we have just pushed down through it. So we can see we have been testing, closing below, closing above, retesting this 200 EMA, you know, for the last couple of, well, probably the last day or so. I expect this to be lost and you know overall I expect the markets to lose a lot of their uh, positions that they're in. It's no secret, I think you guys should know by now, I think this push to the upside has been a massive bear tra uh, bull trap, sorry, a massive fake out in the space. I do not expect this push to continue for much longer, although today being that volatile day we may see the prices rise a little bit more. Let's not get away from the fact there is a potential for another push to the upside, but overall I do think this monumental move we have seen to the upside will be short-lived and we can't expect these prices to start retracing. So what does that tell us with the charts? Well, first of all, we can see that we have came down to test out this fair value gap. The fair value gap in question has a high of $100.80 and a low of $99.59. Whether or not we break that just now, we'll get into that very shortly. But I do expect the price to continue to the downside before we do see a bit of a relief. Now, one thing we'd like to point out here, when we see these bearish change of characters for any crypto in the space, uh, really, what we do tend to see is a push to the upside, retesting that area it came from, followed by a further push to the downside. So we know that we are we can be expecting a bit of a relief, a relief rally for this time, obviously, uh, this scenario being to the upside. So overall, we will be looking for this move to the downside to finish before we see that move to the upside. Now, as we obviously alluded to earlier, it's a Fed day today, so we can expect market volatility. And I do think that is exactly what it is we are going to see across the charts, quant being absolutely no ex exception here. So first of all, we'll look at the structures that are playing out. We did have this completed ABC structure to the downside, and we can obviously take into account we have pushed on up here. Not the greatest of structures to the upside, but we did push up to $106.682. We will drag the 100% move of this ABC structure to the downside, take it over to this WIC high we have here, where we can be targeting the next move to the downside, coming to the area right down here between $100.237 and $99.774. What we'll do is we'll put the right numbers into here so we have our area highlighted. There we go. We know that we are looking for a move down into this area, which obviously coincidentally would fill out this fair value gap that has been left from the 25th of October's push to the upside. Overall, this would give us the idea, this being an A wave to the downside, we came up into the B wave and we are now coming down within this C wave. The structure down within the C wave, well, what is it we can actually see going on here? It does look quite an impulsive pattern to the downside. However, we do have a bit of overlap going on inside of here. 
Now we could have this as a simple ABC structure to the downside meeting the target area within itself. So we may have some overlap that's going on. It doesn't give you the best of structures overall for the charts. We do see that does complete a one to one right on in here with another A, B and C structure to the downside. So one last time, I do think we could have that last A, B and C structure coming on down right within this move here where we could see and this is quite an interesting level here that the, the the medium line the main line of this fair value gap would be the one that would be tested here at 100 dollars 19 so what we could obviously easily say here is look we have this big one two three four five structure to the downside i do not think that is the play i think we have a series of nested structures going on here with an abc coming down within that structure another abc coming down within here and another a b and c structure coming on down still to play out now of course we can see that the the c wave potentially has finished right down here by crossing the the minimum requirement of first of all this a wave low and giving us the double bottom here with the previous C wave low. So overall, we could be very close to the end of the structure without reaching the, the overall target here, giving us the, the impression, you know, we will be looking for a bit of a, a rally to the upside if we were to draw this on as a five wave move, giving it as a W, X, Y, X and Z structure. Now, if any of this is alien to you guys, of course, you can go over to memberships.cheekycrypto.io where we can learn smart money concepts and Elliott Wave Theory, all part of the memberships that are there. There is, of course, a seven day free trial. It is linked in the description down below. I do advise you guys to go on over there and check that one out. So what I have done on the charts here, given the fact that we have a series of ABC structures, not quite giving us the five wave impulsive move to the downside, we would look at this as a W, X, Y, X and Z. Now the move in the Z wave, we would take the 100% move of the initial W wave, bring it over to the secondary X wave high, where we can see we would be targeting out the move in the Z wave between the, six, uh, the 0 0.618 and the 1.236 Fib levels, where we can see right on in here, I'll mark this box as white so we know it's relevant to that structure. We can see the price has moved on into here. So I do think we may come back down one last time, considering the position of the stochastics are moving back up to the overbought here on the one hour chart. I do think we could see this one move on back down one last time to retest this area, whether we drop down into the C wave low between $100 and $98. You know, I think we give this a few candles, let it play out. But I do think we have one last drop to the downside before we will look for the next move to the upside for quant on the one hour. This kind of move, well, we can have a quick early look at what to expect. We can expect the 50 to 88% retracement of this previous move to the downside. This is a given. We know that these are the areas that like to be met. Now, considering that we do still have the strong high on the one hour chart for quant, Smart Money Concepts is telling us we should not be breaching this upper area. We will put a fib line on here, $109.78. Three or well, one oh nine seven eight three is the level we do not want to see broke. We can note that a retest of this area pushing on back up would give us the idea that we will expect further downward pressure for quant. You know, over the coming weeks and months, we can note there are plenty of fair value gaps stacked up on the charts here from the previous move to the upside. So overall, I do think we are on the the downward spiral here for many charts, quant being, again, no exception. Trading below the 50 EMA and SMA, if we start trading below, completely trading below this 200 EMA, you know, it's a very bearish sign indeed. And we cannot um, get ourselves away from the fact here that the 200 EMA is starting a downwards curve. The 50 EMA heading down, the 50 SMA heading down. What we could obviously see here is the short, -time pri uh, short term price action dropping lower than the longer term price action, the 50 and the 200 SMA is dropping lower than the 200 EMA. Overall, that is a very bearish sign indeed. That's a key signal, in my opinion, to start shorting the market where I will be looking to do so. Now, we cannot ignore the fact that the four hour and the eight hour stochastics are oversold looking for that push to the upside. But just like the one hour here, although it's in the overbought area, volatility is very low. So we don't expect massive moves to happen straight away. With the eight hour um, stochastic so low here, we can see there's relative volatility, but this is also starting to bring itself to the downside. When we do see the start to correct to the upside, then once again, I do expect to see the price come back up to around about $104 to $108, testing out this area once again before 
we see a further pullback. We can see here on the four hour chart that the 50 EMA on the four hour is heading up towards that area. So I do think there is the likelihood that we push up to test this area. You know, the charts are all kind of starting to merge back together once again after quite a volatile and un it's not even arguably, I think it's quite firm to say a hard time to read charts for, you know, a couple of weeks. The structures were very overlapping. They, they gave impulsive notions, although they were held within corrective structures. We're starting to get back to the point the charts are becoming easier and more predictable to read. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be pleased to hear that. And, you know, there's plenty of members down the Discord who are advancing very well with putting uh, their charts together. And they will please be pleased to see that, you know, we are moving down here within this A, B and C structure. We will then look for the next move to the upside, which I would expect to be something along the lines of another ABC. We're from here further much further down the line we can expect a further pullback for the price of quant moving on to the one day chart well we can see what i was alluding to earlier fantastic run to the upside let's not you know let's not beat about the bush here it's been an insane run to the upside but in reality it's just a 30 percent move now we have obviously seen the stochastic soar to the upside it has now dropped its way back down but volatility is still extremely high for the stochastic to move as quickly as it did for just a 30% price um, increase, although it was fantastic, that's what gave me the overall notion that this was not long lived. The same does apply for the weekly, which we will get to shortly. But what we can see on the daily chart is we are still printing a strong high here via smart money concepts and still printing a strong, eh, sorry, a weak low. Overall, smart money concepts is telling us that this week is not. Uh, this week low is not going to hold and we can expect the price to break on through here. We can also see the 200 daily EMA has now been broken. A closure below here at the end of obviously today's day. Moving on to tomorrow, if we see this price continue to close below the 200 EMA, well I'm afraid I think we're going down much further for quant. Um, my narrative has not changed on the space. I was getting a bit touchy for a while. You know, I was a bit, we could see a change in the markets. But the moves that have played out has gave me confidence that you know that this is not a long-lived move to the upside. It is merely a bull trap, liquidation grab, however you want to phrase it. I do expect to see the prices dropping down. What we can obviously note here on the daily chart, the 200 EMA has always been a barrier coming up to test it several times, failing to close above. However, on this push to the upside, we can note we have had multiple candles here closing above the 200 EMA. This now being essentially the second day of testing the 200 EMA. Yesterday we tested it, we failed to close above. Today we are testing it and currently we are below the 200 EMA. Um, I do think we see closure below this 200 EMA, perhaps printing another couple of days closures below the 200 EMA. That gives us the bearish um, sentiment back once again to start looking for the prices further down for quant. Now, as we do look at the prices to come down further, I've actually went a stage too quickly there. When we zoom out on the charts, I have been looking at this A, B and C structure to the downside for quite some time. We can see the target here for our members down in Discord. I have set at $68.30 on this Binance daily chart. The reason this is most interesting, we do have this fair value gap from July 2022 failed to have filled out previously. There is a couple sitting lower, but that's not the ones I'm interested in just now. This fair value gap falls within the one-to-one -one retracement um, sorry, the one-to-one -one of this A wave to the downside, bring over to the B wave high, gives us the notion that we should be targeting $68.30 to as low as $55.40 for quant. Now, overall, what we would be looking for here is the retracement of this move to the upside. This gives us a huge broad area for the price of quant between $95.60 to as low as $49.20. This gives us the 50 to the 88.2% retracement of this pump to the upside. Now, I do firmly believe that the bottom is in for quant right down here at $40.10 back in July 2022. I do not expect this level to be broken. However, I do see that we are in the, the retracement of this pump to the upside and we can expect the prices to come down here, most notably looking for $68.30. As we advance onto the one week chart, 
Lastly, for today, well, we can see we have came up to test the 50 EMA and the 50 SMA here for Quant, and it looks like we are going to have a firm rejection. We have previously came up to test the 50 EMA, eh, sorry, the 50 SMA here in green, found rejection from here. So I do think this is a scenario once again. We can now see that the 50 EMA drops lower than the 50 SMA, so the exponential moving average lower than the, the, the simple moving average. Granted, it's only by a few cent. But this overall is telling me that we can expect further downwards price movement. Looking at the stochastics, advanced to the upside very quickly here, where once again, as we covered off previously, we've seen the 30% move. This is not a glamorous, sexy move to the upside. For the move to, eh, sorry, for the stochastic to move as quickly as it did with relatively no price action is very underwhelming. We can see the last time the stochastic done the full move to the upside. Well, we were looking at roughly. If we were to take it to this one here, 180% or 232% push to the upside. Overall, we did see that move as a 468% move to the upside. So the fact we only had a 30% move, the stochastic completely moving to the upside with volatility remaining very low. That gives us the notion that this is the fake out that I do believe we have seen and we can expect the prices to come on down. So obviously we are looking for that move between $95 and $49, this typical retracement. The area of interest I do have here on the charts between $66.70 and $55.30 is a previous area of support and resistance for quant. I expect to see this price come back down and tested once again. We can see the 50% FIB level of this previous move to the downside would come in around about $69.80, where we can see the target for the C wave around about $68.80 and 30 cent gives us the idea guys that we have to come back down for quant in quite a steep way you know this kind of drop to 68 dollars and 30 cent we're going to see around about a 30 percent pullback in the market granted it's not a huge pullback but it's a pullback i do believe we we need to see and it's a pullback i do firmly believe we will see now of course as i did say in the video today it is a fed interest rate day so i do hope all of you guys if you are trading you're going to trade unbelievably safely because we know these days can be hyper volatile so on that note i will wrap up the video i do hope you've enjoyed it today if you agree with what i've said in the video leave us a comment down below let me know what you think and if you do not agree please do let us know in the comments down below where you see the price action for quant going yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. If you're going to trade, please do trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss. Make some great gains. Stay safe in the space. Before you leave, smash up the like button. Helps feed that algorithm. Helps the channel out a great deal, guys. I do hope you all have a very nice day.